What's going on guys? Back at it again with another Elder Scrolls V Skyrim video. So this one is actually kind of special for me, mainly because I didn't even know this was an option in the game. And it's pretty cool. Um, I've actually never done this mission. Normally when I get to this point of the main storyline, I usually have already done the main or the, uh, the, the, the whole Civil War side of the game. So I never had to do this whole situation where I need to seek for a truce. So we're going to be going and hopefully getting that accomplished in this video. So if you're excited for this video, do me a huge, huge favor, drop a like on this video. Also subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed because it really does help this channel grow. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get going. All right. So first things first. Come on, Jazargo. We need to make our way outside since we can't fast travel from inside buildings. That kind of sucks. I think it's kind of dumb, to be honest, but... I don't know. It's kind of... I don't know. It's just weird. So let's go ahead and get on out of here so that we can fast travel to uh, Ardnir, which is, I believe, the place where we have to go, which is over there at the top of the world. Yep. Top of the world. It's kind of interesting, though, because... We chose to side with... Uh, the Blades... So, this should be interesting to say the least. <clears throat> Alright, we're probably going to get the boot permanently after this. Alright, where's Argnir? Uh, looks like he's over here somewhere. This place seems to be somewhat confusing. Wait, is there a door? Oh yeah. Alrighty. Where the hell is he? What the hell was that? Um. Is there. Is there something over here? There is. Open Skyrim. Oh, hello. This is how you repay our trust. Artanax's trust. His noble spirit, the wisdom of ages, his deep understanding of our existence, all gone. Mindless vendetta urged on you by a cabal of Akaviri barbarians. Sorry. Um. Alduin? We heard the dragon wren shout from here. You defeated him? Uh, yeah, but he escaped. I need to find this portal to Sovngarde. I feared as much. I thought it was him we saw flying east after your battle. Well, are you gonna help me? I definitely need help to catch a dragon. We are not warriors. What is overlooked in the Dragonborn is not permitted to any other followers of the way of the voice. Well, I'll worry about capturing the dragon then. But I do need you to help me stop the war, tem at least temporarily. You misunderstand our authority. The Greybeards have never involved themselves in political affairs. Yeah, but you guys are the mediaries. Because you're not involved, you, this place is perfect for a truce. And by the way, your Balgraf won't help me while the war rages. I see. The dragon will lead you to Alduin, but without the Jarl's help. <laughs> Well, both sides respect the gate, the gate, the gray beards. Um, they will listen. Partanax has made the decision to help you. This is the road we have to walk. Even the gray beards must bend to the winds of change, it seems. So be it. Tell Ulfric and General Tullius that the gray beards wish to speak to them. We will see if they still remember us. Uh. So are you ready? Deliver the message to the warring parties. If they will listen, I will do what I can to bring them to terms. All right, cool. All right, cool. Hell yeah, dude. All right, so we gotta go to Ulfric. I haven't even been to this town yet. So let's go ahead and fast travel to the stables and we should be able to just quickly trot over there and make friends with Mr. Ulfric Stormcloak. 
All right, where are we going? This way. Oh my God, dog. I should boost road die your ass off this mountain. Oh God, look who it is. I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see here. There's a new museum opening up in Dawnstar. The owner is asking me to hand out invitations to travelers. Looks like that's it. Got to go. Cool. Um, items. Let's see. Books, maybe? Um, what is this thing called? Um, museum pamphlet. Silas Veresus presents the Museum of the Mythic Dawn. Ooh, that's interesting. A history of the cult that toppled the Septum Dynasty. Inside of his very own home in the great capital of the Pale, Dawnstar. Free and open to all citizens of Skyrim. So the Mythic Dawn was a cult in Oblivion that basically led to the Oblivion Crisis, so that's pretty interesting. Yay, now we're in Windhelm. Kind of. We're like in limbo between Dawnguard and our uh, Windhelm. You eat our food, you pollute our city with your stink, and you refuse to help the Stormcloaks. We haven't taken a side because it's not our fight. Hey, maybe the reason these Grayskins don't help in the war is because they're Imperial spies. Imperial spies? You can't be serious. Maybe we'll pay you a visit tonight, little spy. We got ways of finding out what you really are. What the hell? Talk to you. Oh. Do you hate the Dark Elves? Are you here to bully us and tell us to lead? No, not at all. You've come to the wrong city then. Windhelm's a haven of prejudice and narrow thinking. Unworthy of one such as you. Uh, look like those Nords would give me some trouble. Nothing new there. Most of the Nords living in Windhelm don't care much for us. But Rolf is the worst by far. He likes to get drunk and walk around the Grey Quarter yelling insults at us in the small hours of the morning. Oh, a real charm of that one. Alright, why would they think you're a spy? Some of these Nords will come up with any excuse to despise us. And it isn't just the Dark Elves they hate. They make a target of the Argonians as well. In fact, just about anyone who isn't a Nord is fair game for their bullying. Well, I'm an Imperial. I'll You're take care of, of this. the same kind, you and I. I'm glad to have met you. Cool. Mm -hmm. Where is this freaking guy? He came this way, I believe. Let me have a little talk. There you are. Come here, guy. I was one of the best soldiers in the Stormcloak army until I took a sword to the chest. Wait a minute. All is right. It, is it not I'd him? Be out there fighting the Imperials right now if it wasn't for my war. I don't think it's him. Mm -hmm. Uh, maybe he went in here. I think I might have lost him. This one's a favorite of mine. Um, Legend we all know and love. Who the hell is this guy? If it's a mercenary you're oh. looking for, you found him. There's no stronger sword on for hire. That's not what I'm looking for, guys. So. Where is that guy? Well, I think I lost him. I wanted to get justice for you, sweetheart, but unfortunately I can't freaking find him. If I come across him though, I promise I'll bring swift justice to his bigoted ass. Um. Wait, is that him? Is that him? Oh, I'm coming for you. No, I think this is the same guy. Yeah, this is the same guy. Ever since that Imperial Craven ran me through from behind. Alright, let's just run really quick. Wait, Rolf? You. You a dark elf lover? Get out of our city, you filthy piece of trash. Alright, look, first of all, I don't like your fucking attitude, guy. Don't like it? Too bad. This is our city. Ours! Don't think I can take you? 100 septum say I can punch you back where you came from. Make it 200. Alright. Fists only. None of that magic just... stuff either. Let's go. 
Come on. What's up, bro? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. That's all you got? Come on. Come on, buddy. Let's go. You hit like my freaking mom. <laughs> oh, you're such a weak ass mofo. Come on, bro. Let's go. I know you're done, but you deserve more. Had enough? You have? Alright. There you go, you bigot. That wasn't a fair swing. Um Give me my freaking money, asshole. Yeah. Here. That's what I thought. Let me equip my freaking thing back. Woo! I beat his ass. I should destroy him. I'm a sailor on the North Wind. We're laying over in Windhelm for a while. It's good to spend some time. All right, on congratulations. Solitaire. Be careful. Shut up, guard. All right, where's this uh Yarl at? I don't even know where the hell I'm at right now. All right, let's go this way. Yeah, it's right here. Bam. All right. We should literally just be at the doorstep. What is wrong with her face? Spare a coin for an old woman, my lord. Sure. Oh, thank you. Divines bless your kind heart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I should have gave a coin to that one dude, too. If I see him again, I'll give him a coin. Give us a straight answer. He's a true Nord. He'll come around. Who the hell is he talking to? Don't be so sure of that. We've intercepted couriers from Solitude. The Empire is putting a great deal of pressure on the White Run. And what would you have me do? If he's not with us, he's against us. That's extreme. He knows that. They all know that. How long are you going to wait? You think I need to send Bolgraf a stronger message? If by message you mean shoving a sword through his gullet. Taking his city and leaving him in disgrace would make a more powerful statement, don't you think? So we're ready to start this war in earnest then? Soon. I still say you should take them all out like you did dead King Torik. Torik was merely a message to the other Yars. Whoever we replace them with will need the support of our armies. We're ready when you are. Things hinge on White Run. If we can take the city without bloodshed, all the better. But if not, the people are behind you. Many, I fear, still need convincing. Then let them die with their false kings. We've been soldiers a long time. We know the price of freedom. But people are still weighing things in their hearts. What's left of Skyrim to wager? They have families to think of. How many of their sons and daughters follow your banner? We are their families. Well put, friend. Tell me, Gotmar, why do you fight for me? I'd follow you into the depths of oblivion. You know that. Yes, but why do you fight? If not for me, what then? I'll die before elves dictate the fates of men. Are we not one in this? I fight for the men I've held in my arms, dying on foreign soil. This conversation is so I fight for weird. their wives and children whose names I heard whispered in their last breath. I fight for we few who didn't come <laughs> home, only to find our country full of strangers wearing familiar faces. I fight for my people, impoverished to pay the debts of an empire too weak to rule them, yet brands them criminals for wanting to rule themselves. I fight so that all the fighting I've already done hasn't been done. I fight because I must. Your words give voice to what we all feel, Ulfric. And that's why you will be High King. For the day words are enough will be the day when soldiers like us are no longer needed. I will gladly retire. Alright, I'm done with this conversation. It's ridiculous. Only the foolish or the courageous approach a Jarl without summons. Do I know you? 
Um, well, funny thing you said that, because I believe we've already met once. Is that so? Uh, yes. You were with us at Helgen. Destined for the chopping block, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, kind of. I was set free. I could have gone anywhere, but I came here. No. I the gods. But in the meantime... As you can see, I have much that requires my attention. If you're inclined to gap, there are some nice prison guards you may like to meet. No, I don't want to fight the Empire. I don't want to choose sides, damn it. Not yet. Let's try to go to the other place. Alright, map. Let's go all the way over here to Solitude. And now we gotta meet uh, Elisif, I believe is her name. The funny thing about... Oh, actually, no, not even Elisif. Yeah, we gotta talk to uh, General Tullius, right? It's, I'm not I, hope, in I think it's gonna have to... How many I really think it's gonna make me uh, choose a side. Oh, God. God. We think that so, be careful. Shut up, man. Castle Dower. <clears throat> Let's see here. Hello, I love Am his I armor. Am now giving free reign to anyone who wanders into the castle? Yep. Do you have some reason to be here, citizen? Yep. I believe we've already met. Have we? Oh, oh of course. You were at Helgen. One of the prisoners, if I recall correctly. Um, actually, I helped help uh, Hadbar escape. He said he'd vouch for me. Hadbar's alive. I hope that's true. He's a damn good soldier. But he hasn't reported in yet, so he can't exactly confirm your story. In the meantime, why don't you have a chat with Legat Ricca? I suspect we might have use for someone resourceful like you. Not many survived, Helgen. Besides, I'm sure your being imprisoned was all a terrible misunderstanding. I'm telling you, Ulfric. Speak with Legat Ricca. There we go. She I have a message from the Greybeards. The Greybeards? What do those old hermits want with me? So they're convening a uh, a peace council at the at High Hrothgar. Why? There's nothing to discuss as long as that traitor Ulfric is in arms against his rightful emperor. We need a truce, man. Until the dragon menace is dealt with, that's the only way we can win. They are getting to be a problem, but I wasn't sent to Skyrim to fight dragons. No one said you will. My job is to quell this rebellion, and I intend to do just that. Dragons or no dragons. So the dragons are bigger problem than the Stormcloaks right now. Believe me. I'll be the judge of that. Besides, by all reports, the Stormcloaks are suffering just as much as we are from these dragon attacks. The best time to negotiate is from a position of strength, don't you think? Fair enough. We're driving the Stormcloaks back well enough at the moment, but we're already overstretched. That's what comes of trying to win a war with a bare handful of legions. If the Ember would just give me the reinforcements I've requested. Why won't the Emperor send more reinforcements? Most of the Legion is tied down on the border with the Algmeri Dominion. The Emperor can't afford to risk weakening Cyrodiil's defenses. Makes sense. From the Imperial City, our war here is just a sideshow. An interlude before the main event against the Dalmor resumes. So you'll come to the Peace Council then? Yes, yes, fine. I'll come to this Greybeard Council. For all the good it will do. He'd be insane cool. to try. He doesn't have the men. That's not what Hold my on. scouts report, sir. Every day more join his cause. Riften, Dawnstar, and Winterhold support him. Talking peace with Ulfric? <laughs> you must call it whatever you like, General. All right, the man's let's going go. to try to take White Run. We have to go Girl, and Holbrook. try to convince Homeboy. Oh, let me see. Uh. I need to go talk to Ulfric, man. Fuck, dude. Why wouldn't it work last time? I don't want to side with anybody just yet. Oh my god. There you go. Palace of Kings. That helmet is pretty cool. It does it. It, it helps that my favorite color is blue. 
but yeah. Alright, let's go. Let's go! Come on, Ulfric, I need you. Ulfric won't give us a straight answer. To go with peace here, He's a temporarily. Tool. He'll come around. Shut up. I remember you. You were at Helgen with us. Come to join the war. Speak with Garmar. He handles the new recruits. Not necessarily. That's not why I'm here. I'm sorry to hear that. If you change your mind, speak with Garmar. What does bring you to me? Uh, interesting uh, that you ask. I actually have a message from the Greatbeards. It's about time they turned their gaze from the heavens back to our bleeding homeland. What do they want? Uh, it's not really what you thought. They want to negotiate a peace treaty, essentially. Uh, at least at bare minimum until the dragon menace is dealt with. After that, have all the war you want, buddy. I have the greatest respect for the Greybeards, of course. And the dragon attacks are a growing plague. But the political situation is still delicate. Not all the Jarls are fully committed to supporting me as High King. I can't afford to appear weak. I can't agree to this unless Tullius himself will be there. Uh. So, General Tullius, as a matter of fact, has already agreed to attend. Good. We still hold half of Skyrim despite everything the Empire could throw at us. I doubt the Empire has the stomach for much more bloodletting. So you'll come to the Peace Council then, I'm assuming? Yes. Yay. I'll give Tullius one more chance to quit Skyrim with his tail between his legs. That's what would not you the point. Alright, let's go talk to Arthur. He's against us. Oh god, he's having the same he's conversation again. Alright. Well, let's go ahead. Uh, do we have to go back to Ardnir now? At the top of the world? Oh, yeah, it'll be on this side, wouldn't it? Um, hold on, where the hell am I? Right here. Yep, Ardnir it is. This is gonna be interesting to say the least, dude. I'm actually pretty excited. We're actually gonna have a peace council. The question is, will it work? I hope so. I don't want to really have to choose sides yet. Hey, Argnir, I got something to tell you. So, you've done it. The men of violence are gathered here. In these halls whose very stones are dedicated to peace. I should not have agreed to host this council. The Greybeards have no business involving ourselves in such matters. Uh... Uh, don't worry, I'll get them to agree to peace. Peace? <laughs> I doubt it. They may put their weapons down for a moment, but only to gather strength for the next bloodletting. That's exactly They're what not I meant. They're <laughs> tired of war. Far from it. Do you know the ancient Nord word for war? Season unending. And so it has proved. But regrets are pointless. Here we are. Take your seat at the council table, and let us see what wisdom we can find among these warriors of Skyrim. Okay, so where's this council seat? Oh look! The blades are here too! So... What the hell? Arn gear, is it? You know why we're here. Are you going to let us in or not? You are not invited here. You are not welcome here. We have as much right to be at this council as all of you. More, actually, since we were the ones that put the Dragonborn on this path. I know what path you set him on, and now Parthenax's wisdom is lost to us, just when we need it most. He did what had to be done. It was long overdue. My only regret is that I wasn't able to kill him myself. Delphine, we're not here to rehearse your tragedy. The matter at hand is urgent. Aldwin must be stopped. You wouldn't have called this council if you didn't agree. We know a great deal about the situation and the threat that Aldwin poses to us all. You need us here if you want this council to succeed. Ah, uh, very well. You may enter. 
Oh, this is so cool! My god, I love this! I can't believe I've never done this before! Oh my god, I'm getting the chills! I love this so much! So now we got... The, the blades and the graybeards temporarily putting their feud away and the Stormcloaks and the um, Imperial Legion. Where's, what's her name? Putting their quarrels aside too. Hurry up Delphine. Belle Delphine. My god, you're slow. Look at this council. Oh my god, I love this. Oh, I have to take a seat. Oh god, dude, I'm at the head, too. Look at that, Elisif is here. everyone is here, please take your seats. The Aldemary so Dominion? Begin. Literally everyone's here. I hope that we have all come no. here in the spirit you of... No, you insult us by bringing her to this negotiation. Your chief Talos Hunter? That didn't take long. <laughs> here, here. I have every right to be at this negotiation. I need to ensure that nothing is agreed to here that violates the terms of the White Gold Concordat. She's part of the Imperial delegation. You can't dictate who I bring to this council. Please. Oh, this if we is scary. Have to negotiate the terms of the negotiation. We will never get anywhere. Perhaps this would be a good time to get the Dragonborn's input on this matter. Oh, I hope I don't oh, fuck this up. His beard. The nerve of those Imperial bastards, eh? To think that I would sit down at the same table with that. Thou more bitch. Damn. She walks or I do. Uh. So what's the harm? Besides, General Talius doesn't even really want her here either. Maybe so. But bringing her here is a deliberate provocation. Talius needs to know I won't be pushed around. Uh. Oh, yeah, this is true. All right, no, look, I agree wholeheartedly, but let him have his uh, his way on this. At uh, at some point, he's gonna have to give ground. At a later part of this discussion. Feels like a mistake to me. But I'll bow to your judgment on this. But she is Woo! to observe. Nothing more. We are not negotiating with her. Is that clear? Alfred, why so hostile? After all, it's not the Thalmor that's burning your fathers and killing your sons. She's supposed to be on our side? No, exactly. No. Not this time. Now that that's settled, may we proceed? I have something to say first. Here we go. <laughs> the only reason I agreed to attend this council was to deal with the dragon menace. There's nothing else to talk about. Unless the Empire is finally ready to renounce its unjust claim to rule over the free people of Skyrim. I knew he wouldn't We're be able to resist. A temporary truce to allow the dragonborn here to deal with the dragons, nothing more. I consider even talking to the Empire a generous gesture. Are you done? Did you just come here to make speeches, or can we get down to business? <laughs> yes, let's get this over with. <laughs> Are we ready to proceed? Jarl Ulfric, General Tullia, this council is unprecedented. We are gathered here at the Dragonborn's request. I ask that you all respect the spirit of High Hrothgar. Do your best to begin the process of achieving a lasting peace in Skyrim. Who would like to open the negotiations? Yes, let's get down to it. We want control of Markarth. That's our price for agreeing to a truce. So that's why you're here, Ulfric? You dare to insult the Greybeards by using this council to advance your own position? Jarl Elisif. General, this is outrageous. You can't be taking this demand seriously. I thought we were here to discuss a truce. Elisif, I said I'd handle it. Ulfric, you can't seriously expect us to give up Markarth at the negotiating table. You hope to gain in council what you've been unable to take in battle, is that it? I'm sure Jarl Ulfric does not expect something for nothing. 
Yes, that'd be entirely out of character. <laughs> Wait, General, you don't intend to just hand over Markarth to that traitor? This is how the Empire repays us for our loyalty? Enough. First, let's be clear. This council wasn't my idea. I think it's a waste of time. You are a traitor to the Empire, and well, deserve here a goes. traitor's death. But I at least will negotiate in good faith. Since we're all here at your request, I'd like to hear what you think Markarth is worth. Oh, snap. Um... I, I feel like we're gonna have to give something up on our side so how about Donstar that seems fair in exchange for Markarth the source of most of Skyrim silver hardly Riften seems like a better choice to me well fortified easily resupplied from across Lake Honric plus all the mead we can drink Ah, that makes sense, actually. You're right, Riften. Riften is a fair trade for Markarth. I'm glad you agree. I was starting to wonder whose side you were on here. You heard the man, Ulfric. We've made you a fair offer. Are you serious about these talks, or are you just here to posture? I expected better from you, Dragon Boy. I came here in good faith. And now it seems you held the Empire at every uh -oh. turn. As for you, General Tullius, I see now that Garmar was right. Talking to the Empire is just as useless as ever. If you think you can hold Markarth, you're as deluded as your Emperor when he signed away our freedom to Lothalmor. Skyrim will never again bow to your false Empire. Let's go, Garmar. Oh no! I should have listened to you in the first place. You always were a fool, Ulfric. You're no better at diplomacy than you are in the battlefield. Oh. Stop! Are you so blind to our danger that you can't see past your pity disagreement? Here you sit arguing about nothing, while the fate of the land hangs in the balance. Is he with you, Delphi? If so, I advise you to tell him to watch his tongue. He is with me, and I advise you both to listen to what he has to say before you do anything rash. Oh, Don't snap. you understand the danger? Don't you understand what the return of the dragons means? Alduin has returned, the world eater. Even now he devours the souls of your fallen comrades. He grows more powerful with every soldier slain in your pointless war. Can you not put aside your hatred for even one moment in the face of this mortal danger? A very pretty speech. But what does Shut it have up. to do with that? <laughs> right about all that. We both have just as much to lose here, Tullius. Remember that. Now, back to the matter at hand. Yes! Don't hand me a mug of sheep's piss and call it me. These terms are still not acceptable. I'm sure you have something in mind. Ah, uh, we gotta side with them. Right, we do. You surrender Falkreath to us. Sidgear steps down, and Dengir of Stun resumes the Yalshin. Where do these demands stop, Ulfric? Do you expect me to surrender all of Skyrim? It seems I have no choice but to let the Dragonborn decide. Although I'm starting to doubt your fairness. No, Falkreath... What say you, Dragonborn? No, I agree. I agree. Falkreath should uh, turn over Falkreath. Why are these le Oh, fuck. So... Why? I don't get it though. Because Markarth stayed with the Empire. Instead of giving him Markarth, we're giving him. We're... Oh no, we're taking. We gave them Markarth, we're taking uh, Rift in. So that's a fair trade, I think, in my opinion. So Falkreath isn't much, but I agree the Empire should turn over Falkreath. Spoken like a true son of Skyrim. I suppose that's the fairest deal we're likely to get. It seems we may have an agreement. Jarl Ulfric, General Tullius, these are the terms currently on the table. Did I do it? 
Markarth will be handed over to Ulfric's forces. Oh, fuck! Jarl Edmund will step down, and Thongvor Silverblood will become the Jarl of Markarth. The Stormcloaks will withdraw from the Rift, allowing Imperial troops unhindered access. Jarl Leila Lawgiver will step down, and Maven Blackbriar will become the Jarl of Riften. Falkreath will be turned over to Ulfric, and Dengir of Stoom will return as Jarl. You both agree to this? The Sons of Skyrim will live up to their agreements, as long as the Imperials hold to theirs. What, what about, about you, Alyssa? Are these terms to your liking? Speak up! I'm sure General Tullius is waiting to do your bidding. I have nothing to say to that murderer. General, you've proven yourself a good friend to Skyrim. I continue to trust that you will do your utmost to safeguard our interests. Thank you, Jarl Ellison. I appreciate your loyalty. The Empire can live with these terms, yes. For a temporary truce. Until the Dragon Menace is dealt with. After that, Ulfric, there will be a reckoning. Count on it. On, oh, on. snap! We have a lot of work to do. We did it! Giving up Markarth is a heavy price for this truce, Dragonborn. I hope it was worth it. Jarl Balgruf, I assume you are familiar with the Dragonborn plan. Yes, I'm ready to do my part. Just say the word, and my men will help you spring this trap. But the difficulty remains how to lure a dragon to Dragon's Reach at all. Well, that's an excellent question. You haven't overlooked that little detail, have you? Ah, I believe I've been here. I anticipated the problem. While you were arranging this meeting, I was busy in the library of Skyhaven Temple. An unguessed trove of lost lore. Okay. But the important thing is that the blades recorded many of the names of dragons they slew. Cross-referencing this with Delphine's map of dragon burial sites, I believe I've identified one of the dragons that Alduin has raised up. So, how exactly would that help us? Uh, don't you see? The names of dragons are always three words of power. Shouts. By calling the dragon with the voice, oh. he will hear you wherever he might be. So all we have to do is call the dragon. Why would he come when he called? He's not compelled to, but dragons are prideful by nature and loathe to refuse a challenge. Your voice in particular is likely to intrigue this judge. After your victory over Aldrin, I think it's very likely that he will be unable to resist investigating your call. So, what's the dragon's name exactly? I kind of need that, it's imperative. Ah, indeed. I'm no master of voice, like these worthy gentlemen. But it is written here, in the scroll. Oda Fing, winged snow hunter, as I read it. Nice! Oh my god, this was such a cool freaking mission. Artemis, learn shout uh, to call Ovid being prepared, trap for Odavin. Look at all these people, man. Man, this was such a cool mission. Hey, I can't what? believe I've never done this before. Alright, let's go ahead and get out of here. And then we'll fast travel over to whatever it's called. Wait, who is that? Oh, that's um the Stormcloaks, right? All right, so prepare for over over. I can't even say his freaking name. Ovid Ring. <laughs> his name is Elden Ring. How about that? All right. Is the Jarl even here yet? I doubt it. But I suppose we can find out. Oh, dude, how the hell did you get here so fast? Um. Alright. We are going to call it a video right here, right now. So I gotta say, this mission was probably the coolest freaking thing in this whole game so far. I might be a little, uh. 
iffy on that though statement only because I've never done this mission before so the fact that it's new after all these years that I can't believe I haven't done it after all these years it's very very interesting so I think that's probably why I seem to like it so much right now but in concept regardless uh, trying to be objective here but in concept it's still a fantastic story or or uh, I guess uh, thing to put into the game so it's actually really cool I really really enjoyed that uh, but if you enjoyed this video, do me a huge favor drop a like on this video Also subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed because it really does help this channel grow So with that being said catch you guys in the next one deuces